Hello, I'm Squirrel. And I'm Rumble. And we are Cat Snacks and Video Games. In this video, we're doing more pickups. Yes! That's right. We've got 30 games to go through. So grab a snack and let's get started. So this pickups video is going to be a little bit different than our last one because we actually didn't hit up any game stores last month. So they're all going to be like online pickups, basically. Yeah, but um, I will say there was a lot of really great sales that were going on on several different sites uh, during the month of July. So I think we just took good advantage of that. This is true. So does this still count then that I go pick up the package outside our door? It was outside. So I'm I going mean, to count it. I mean, I guess that's what it is now. So yeah, we pick <laughs> literal pickups from the ground. Yeah, pickups from our doorstep. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Should I get started then? Yeah, go okay, for it. Okay. Cool. The first one I have is Left Alive uh, Day One Edition. I don't know much about this game. I know it's Square Enix. Um, it's been on my wish list for the longest time, so I just kind of I went for it this time uh, for no particular reason. Uh, I'm gonna show the spine too because I. I do feel like people on YouTube don't show the spine enough. Yeah, and I actually like to know whether it has artwork on the spine yeah. like, or whether it's, uh, you know, just that same font that so many games use. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So because, you know, when it's on your game shelf, right, then mm -hmm. you want to see the spine. So so that's Left Alive. Like I said, I think it is like a mech shooter, futuristic kind of thing. So <laughs> that's, that's the best I can do. That's okay. I don't know much about that one either. I... I like the artwork. It kind of reminds me of like a front mission uh, artwork. Yep. Another Square Enix published game. My first game is I Am Setsuna. This is a game that's been on my wish list for a really long time. We do own it digitally, um, but it's one that I've wanted to own physically for a while. It is a beautiful RPG. It has a beautiful soundtrack and I haven't actually completed it yet, but this is on my list to complete because it's, yeah, just overall a gorgeous RPG and also Square Enix. Yeah, I noticed that. And it's an international re release, so you have the Pharaoh B. Oh, it's a Japanese release or? Oh, uh, it's, it's international. Yes, yeah. it's kind of, it's an international one. So it, that's what I, I particularly went out for this one because it does have English written on it. And uh, there is a Japanese version that has the title in Japanese character. Uh, but this one is in English, but it's still, yeah, like an international release. All right, awesome. Yeah. All right, continuing on here with PS4. Next one I have is Republic or Republic. So this, I think, is a stealth game. Another one that's been on my wish list for a very long time. Just never got around to getting it. I do, I'm very excited to play this though because I do like stealth games. Uh, there's a spine right there. I think Limited Run did a, um, a run of their own, so to speak, but this is the original one on the PS4. So I don't know if that was a game they reprinted for the PS4 or if it was like PS5, but um, that's another one in the collection. Cool. I think that there was uh, quite a few PS4 games that were on sale last month. Uh, maybe. I got that from eBay, so I, I'm not sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have some PS4 games in my collection. Oh, that, good. Uh, good. <laughs> that I'll be I going guess we to. are working on improving the PS4 collection right now, so. Yeah, true. My next game is Harvest Moon Light of Hope. This is a special edition on the PS4, and... I do like collecting pretty much all of the Harvest Moons I can get a hold of. So this is uh, one that we were missing. We didn't have this one. And I know there's quite a few out there right now, but this is one that I wanted to add. And I've never actually played this Light of Hope one before, so this might be one that I'll actually give a shot. Um, I don't know, you know, a whole lot about this specific uh, Light of Hope one, uh, except for more like a, there's a lighthouse involved and whatnot. But otherwise, I assume it's going to be a very traditional Harvest Moon game, and I like the farming games. So I think that one should be fun. All right, moving on to a different console here. I think that was the only PlayStation 4 I had. Um, this next one here is, oh, the next one is Scars Above. Uh, I think this is a third-person shooter. I bought this actually, um, I bought a digital copy of this one a little while back on sale. 
and I realized that um, I wanted to have the physical copy as well. So this one was like $20, I think, on Amazon. And uh, looking forward to playing this one. Haven't heard a ton uh, about this, but yeah, I like third-person shooters, so I'm excited. Yeah, cool. Another one that I don't really know much about, so I'll be interested to watch you play it. Yep. I didn't really say it on the previous one, but I mean, I think since we did buy these ones recently, I'm I can uh, actually say that like uh, I am Setsuna. I was able to find that one for under thirty dollars. That's one reason that I got it. And then uh, Harvest Moon was on sale for like fourteen ninety nine or under fourteen dollars. So that was the reason I wanted to pick up that one in that version. Yeah, so. and it's so funny too because we have pretty much all of these are like sealed right brand new yeah. mm -hmm. and then you go to a brick and mortar store these days just a game store and you know most of them don't have new stuff anymore even you know best buy gamestop and especially not gamestop because they open everything so yeah. you know but <laughs> it's just you don't see sealed games really a whole lot yeah no i mean and it's yeah it's nice to be the first one to open your game yep um let's see my next one here this one is one that i am pretty excited about so it is Rhapsody, Marl Kingdom Chronicles. Uh, this is one that I almost didn't, like, I always like pick, picking up the Nipponichi um, game, but I almost didn't get this one because I actually just thought it was a remake of the first Rhapsody. And then I found out that this is Rhapsody 2 and Rhapsody 3. And then I thought, oh my gosh, we need to have this in our collection. So, and also this one was on sale for a little bit. I do believe it was around, I want to say it was like 40, probably, possibly like 44. And so a Nipponichi game don't usually go down a whole lot. So that's why I was like, okay, just it's time to get it. Yeah, less prints than I'm guessing that they don't print a lot of uh, copies. Yeah, no, they don't think Nipponichi does a lot of prints. And I mean, it's one of my favorite developers. So definitely wanted to get that in our collection. Yep. My next one is In Sound Mind. This is, they would call like a more of a horror adventure, I think. I think this was a very popular um, kind of YouTube game uh, not long ago. Uh, but another one that I bought very cheap, like digitally, and then this was also like, I would say between 10 and 15. Uh, so it's like, um, suddenly went on sale and I picked it up and then I realized that like, I don't know what happened here, but it's like- It's partway open for you. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a cat maybe nibbled on it a little bit. I don't know, but, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, added this one to the collection and uh, I played a little bit of it. And like I said, it's one of those, yeah, horror adventure, type games that are um yeah good coming up on october soon then i probably will play it then wasn't that one on game pass for a little bit i think i don't remember i do, it doesn't ring a bell but uh, maybe not maybe i just seen that one too so yeah no, well that's i cool. have owned it you know for a little bit but i just wanted ah, the physical so it's yep. been in our library yeah <laughs> probably in our <laughs> library yeah <laughs> No, that's cool. I mean, I like the art on that one. It looks awesome. There yeah. is a cat involved, too. I can see this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My next one is Atelier Riza or Riza. I've heard it said uh, many different ways. And this is the third one in the series. Um, I own one and two. I've been wanting to get three for a while. I just didn't know what console I was going to get it for. I think that I own one and two on the PS4. And... Um, I think the PS4 version has stayed kind of pricey. And so when I saw that the PS5 version went on sale, I think maybe 30 again, kind of in the mid 30 range. Yeah, I just said, all right, we need this one to complete our collection. And uh, these Atelier games, they they don't go down in price a whole lot. Once they once they sell out, that's, that's it. And wow. <laughs> Even on newer consoles, huh? Wow. Yeah, no, they're just generally kind of rare games and so that's why i was like all right we got to get the third one before it goes up in price again yeah that's great mm -hmm. all right continuing with uh xbox here so my next one is steel rising uh, i think this is a um souls like game again and here we go the stickers so amazon again amazon stickers, i think they, they give were it doing away. like a 1999 sale on a lot of uh, games i feel yeah um, i think so so steel rising Let's see, make sure it focuses on the spine here because we have some stuff that it's also focusing on, I guess. But <laughs> um, yeah, so Steel Rising, it's, uh, I was looking at some gameplay of uh, Lies of P, I think it was. And then I think it came up as like a recommended or something or I was looking at um, games on Amazon 
and I was like, you know what, this one looks looks pretty good. So, um, and I've been trying to get into those types of games lately. So, that's the reason why I got this one. But I have not played it yet uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, looking forward to it. My next one is um, actually a rhythm game this time. So. Lately, um, our son has been into the different rhythm games, and while he is mostly on PC, I wanted to make sure that he sees some of the famous like console ones. So I don't even know if I know how to say this right. It's like theaterism. <laughs> I um, looked at that too. I had no idea how to say that. It's trying to be like theater rhythm, uh, final bar line. I actually used to think this was called threat rhythm <laughs> for the longest time until I like looked at the spine. And I was like, wait, that's not threat rhythm. It's theat rhythm. <laughs> so... Anyways, this is a Final Fantasy rhythm game. It's really an interesting one, too, in the way that they do it. And it's kind of like you're playing along with the movies or you might be uh, playing along in the battles. And uh, this one is open because it's one that we wanted to try right away and just see what we thought about it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just it's a cool rhythm game. It's unique. Uh, yeah, fun to have. Yeah, yeah. And that one also... That one wasn't on any kind of crazy sale. I do think that one was just like in the upper 20s, you know, kind of price. So, yep, but right. it was just, you know, rhythm game. We wanted to add it to our collection. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to try it sometime too. Know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one for me is, I think it's Thymesia or Thymesia. Uh, also was recommended through Amazon and I had seen some gameplay very similar to Steel Rising. You know, it's that same type of game. Uh, souls like souls clone whatever you want to call it so so this was uh, also 1999 I think same thing so I guess they were just <laughs> having a blowout sale or something but happy to have this in the collection too so uh, but again have not played it so um, also I'm, I'm sure if I like one I'll like the other here so <laughs> nice my next one is another Atelier game it is Atelier Marie uh, this, uh, the remake, Alchemist of Salberg, and this is the alternate cover because uh, this is another one that uh, we did open up, and um, I want to, oh, and then see here's a, another cover you can do for it as well, and um, I wanted to install it as soon as we got it, so uh, this one we installed, I'm going to play this one, um, I'm probably going to post some gameplay of this one as well. So uh, this is like a little bit more of a relaxing Atelier game. And it is one that was on the PS1 in Japan. And this is the first time it's come to America. So I'm super excited to be able to play it in English. All right, moving on to the next one for me. I have a 360 game for once. I don't really have a lot of 360 games left to collect. Um, this was one that I've been looking at for a while. So this is a Resident Evil Archives. And that has Mostly download codes, I would say, which I really hope uh, <laughs> I really hope it works because I know that after they shut down the 360 marketplace, I don't even think you can um, redeem codes and stuff. So, and we got this from Play Asia, I think, mm -hmm. and they kind of screwed us over a little bit because this is not the original seal; they just kind of resealed it. So, yeah, yeah, it's still sealed here. Yeah, it's kind of gonna be a um, useless one to just be a uh, collectible. Uh, copy really if you can't even redeem the codes but still it's cool to have though yeah yeah so my next one is another rpg it is octopath traveler 2 uh for the ps4 um i wanted this one too because it has that ps5 upgrade available with it and this is one of those ones that does have the very typical kind of spine to it. And this is kind of what we were talking about. And you can see them here. Like, I love how Rhapsody has the art wrap that goes around it. But a lot of them just have this more plain spine. But um, Octopath Traveler is um, a fantastic RPG. I have played the first one. I haven't completed it yet, though. But I've been wanting to get the second game for a while in our collection. I actually own Octopath Traveler, the first one, though, on the Switch. But for whatever reason I just decided I more would rather have it on the PS4. I want to play it on the PS5 probably. And um, yeah, and it was cheaper that way too. Mm -hmm. So it just seemed like that one was on sale versus the Switch one not going on sale. And so I just said, you know what? I'm okay with playing this on the PS5. I'm going to assume they don't have that one on the Xbox then. No, yeah. it's like digitally on the Xbox, but not yeah. physical. Mm -hmm. Which is one thing I wanted to point out too, you know, when we do go to stores versus uh, ordering online, 
it becomes more obvious that PlayStation, Nintendo, obviously had more physical releases, and I'm sure that's not news to anyone, but it is a little bit sad because I play mostly on Xbox, and to see that, oh, there's that game I bought digitally, but they don't have a physical copy, you know, so... Um, yeah. I can appreciate that about PlayStation and Nintendo for sure. And I agree with that 100%. I actually play mostly on the Xbox as well. And anytime I can buy one of the games that I love, um, I would prefer to buy the Xbox version. But there's, you know, if I can't and I still just want to have it in the collection, I've been leaning more towards the PlayStation. Like PS5 lately, we did just buy the PS5 and that's been the console. Before we go on, we'd like to ask you guys watching, you know, is there anything here that you played would recommend to us, you know, because obviously we've gone through these now and they're mostly new games that we haven't played yet. Uh, so, yeah, feel free to let us know in the comments what you guys think. And if you're enjoying this video or you like watching these types of pickup videos, give us a like, give us a, a subscribe. <laughs> it really helps us out uh, with building our channel and also knowing what you guys are enjoying watching. This is true. Yep. Okay. Let's, uh, I think it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just mm -hmm. making sure I don't double dip and just like, hey, I'll finish my stack and then you. Mm -hmm. All right. My next one is another 360 game, kind of a compilation. This is like a, I think it's the Ubisoft triple pack it's called so it has outland from dust and beyond good and evil hd and believe it or not i have not played any of these games so which is like they've been around for a long time uh but i figured with the uh 360 marketplace shutting down and this being i think a european only release judging by the age rating here mm -hmm. so i wanted to have this in the collection and you know we have a a PAL 360, so we'll be able to play this. But I think they're all backwards compatible as well. So, you know, cool one. Try to get these whenever we can, right? And I think this was also from uh, Play Asia. Yeah, I have played Beyond Good and Evil, but it was so long ago that it would be so cool to see you play that one again. I want to. My memories of the game mostly are the music, and I don't know if that's a weird thing or not, but the music cracks me up in yeah. the game. Yeah, but they did just re-release it on Xbox, but of course, you know, probably no physical release. So I wanted to get that one with, uh, with that game on there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, my next one is a little bit of a departure from my usual, but it is uh, one that we've been wanting to add. It's not on the Xbox, but it is on PlayStation, and that is White Day, a labyrinth named school. We own this digitally on the Xbox. It's one that um, we want to play definitely this um, spooktober season. And I love this. Um, I love these types of games. Um, not playing them. I like to watch Rumble play them. I'm way too scared to play these types <laughs> of games. So <laughs> I, may, I will watch him uh, play this game. But um, I think we've been trying to add to our horror collection. And um, a lot of the horror games, like Rumble was saying earlier, are more so on the Switch and the PlayStation. So, you know, then that's where we add them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that one. For some reason, yeah, it's just I still had to dish out quite a bit for the digital copy of this. It just doesn't go on sale. And I think we checked the PS5 store and it was like, you know, way cheaper there. Way cheaper. And actually that physical version was like fourteen ninety nine yeah, again. Yeah. It was like under 15 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. Yeah. But I think a sequel is coming out soon too. Yep. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited. It's a Korean survival yep. horror, I think. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. Okay, next, I, uh, yeah, I was going to say following in the same path here of uh, these. I think we bought these together or? Yeah, this was, yeah, a little bundle I bought. Yeah, another one months. that I bought digitally on Xbox, but no physical, as Skarol was saying. So this is Madison Possessed Edition. And this isn't a new game. I think it's been around for a while now, but it is widely considered one of the best indie horror games that uh, I know about at least, so. Uh, so very excited to play this one and like you said, oh the spine is a little dark here I don't know if I can <laughs> see it, but it's Madison. I mean, so it has a cool little photo photo frame um, Around the eye there. So no really cool. And I think it has a bunch of stuff in here, too, right? Not a uh, Yeah, I think that like one does. Yeah photos and like yeah, so we'll have to open this one and I guess decide where to play it I'll probably play it on Xbox, but you know having it on um, PS5 is, is awesome. Yeah, and I like getting those little extras. It's heavier. For sure. 
All right, we are kind of going off the RPG beaten path over here, and we are also now moving into Deception 4, The Nightmare Princess. Um, this is one of those games that I, I didn't know when it first came out um, about it, but I think the Deception series is a really unique series and super, I don't know, it's just super fun and unique. So um, it's you're setting traps, you're protecting your castle, and uh, I haven't played this one in particular, but when I heard about it, I thought, oh my gosh, we need to get that in our collection. So now we have it. It wasn't, that one wasn't on particular sale. I think that one was also in the $30 range, but again, it's not one of those games I think that's going to go down to 15 bucks. So, yeah. you know, just... I mean, you don't have a lot of common games on here. So yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's very unique. Um... <laughs> yeah. All right. My next one is... You know, one of my favorite series, I don't talk about Metro, I haven't been able to talk about Metro series, but this is Metro Exodus Complete Edition, and go. it's gone up in price a little bit, I should have bought this a long time ago when they were just pretty much clearing them out and getting rid of them, but um, I did not, so, but here it is, so we finally have it in the collection, and I figured it's good to have all the DLC on disc, because I looked at this too with Xbox and PS4. And at least the games that I'm interested in, uh, Xbox opted to do more uh, DLC on disc than PlayStation did. Uh, PS4 had a lot more download codes for some reason, and I can't verify if that's for every single game, but at least the ones that I looked at, Xbox has more DLC on disc. So this is one of them. Uh, not, not sure if it has um, a download code on PlayStation 4, but uh, I play them on Xbox, and it's nice to get this one because... In the future, you'll probably see less and less uh, even on Xbox, right? So mm -hmm. the Xbox One stuff is um, a little bit better, but this is the complete edition, so it's like the Xbox Series X version, uh, so oh, to speak. Cool. So, yeah. Nice. I'm actually surprised we didn't have that one already because Metro is one of your favorite series. Well, yeah. that's why it has the European rating on there. Like, it doesn't have the <laughs> rated M, so. Yeah, true. My next game is one that. I love, I play it all the time and uh, just wanted to get the physical and that is Cult of the Lamb. This game, um, yeah, I just, I think the Xbox version was just getting a little too pricey actually. And so I decided to get it on the PS5. Uh, this is a great game, obviously. I mean, think I've put so many hours into um, getting my cult together, taking care of my cult. They have a very cushy life right now. So, um, yep, this is just kind of to add the physical to our collection because I love the game so much. Yeah, it's amazing. So you said it is on Xbox or? I do believe that one came out with a physical on Xbox, but just the price was just going up and up and up on that one. And the yeah. PS5 one was just a, a reasonable level, I think, in the 20 range, you know. And so I just said, I don't know. Sometimes you just have to make that call on whether or not it's worth spending that money yeah. to get it uh, on your desired console. Or do you just opt to get it on another console just yeah. to have it in your collection? Well, so. apparently... Um, Xbox, they print like 20 games and they all go to like scummy resellers apparently. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is not true. I mean, this is true actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know where they end up though. Like, you know, so why are they going up in price? You know, I so. know. So no, it's like funny when you can see it so cheap on like one console, like PS5 or PS4, but then like the Xbox one's long gone sold out and like way higher. So I go, screw it. Uh, I'm at least the it. Series X, I will say. Xbox mm -hmm. One, you might be able to find more because they, they did uh, make more copies but mm -hmm. now it's like you have to do limited run or whatever you know which mm -hmm. is ridiculous but yeah or pre-order it seems like yeah yep all right my next one and i'm still raiding the european market i guess because uh, america is <laughs> is dry like america's all out of xbox games <laughs> and this is marsupilami uh hoob adventure uh i think since rayman legends right i think this is my favorite platformer yeah. it's very similar so i would definitely recommend i have played this obviously since i'm talking about it but yeah. uh so this is the tropical edition with bonus included i don't know what the bonus is but it has some stickers and a door hanger so it's like a privacy door hanger <laughs> that's that's a little bit weird just like we hotel yeah <laughs> just like um but this one's really fun great game um so if you're craving that rayman legends um type of game give this one a try this one's really fun 
and uh, it's, I think it's on all consoles. I'm, yeah, I'd be surprised it if it's not. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, really fun game. And, and I think I think you saw me play that one too. Oh yeah, no, I watched you play that one. It was yeah, very similar to Rayman in all the best ways, really. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it seemed like a fun game, a good platformer. I do think you can find that one digitally for like pretty reasonable prices on across most consoles. So I think it, it's definitely worth picking up. Yeah, and this particular version, we had to go. I would say this was also Play Asia. Mm -hmm. We did place like a Play Asia order recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next one is another rhythm game. I don't know much about this one, but it's super crazy rhythm castle and i just thought i'd heard good things about this it got good um reviews and so i wanted to give this one a shot is konami which um yeah i don't know i don't know what other rhythm games that they make but just thought this one would be a cool addition and another rhythm game to have in our collection also it was affordable on the xbox so i thought let's buy it there yeah very into the rhythm games yeah like you said earlier so. rhythm and i guess it's been like rhythm and horror games lately i weekend. guess so <laughs> i mean th they tend to be more rare or like more sought after because yeah yeah people might overlook them a little bit so can i say that uh parappa the rapper has taken over the household lately and that's why we've been adding some rhythm games yeah i mean that's a <laughs> perfectly valid reason we obviously we have a lot of parappa the rapper games so there's none in this these stacks over here but yeah so just trying to uh prove to the kid that there's other rhythm games out there <laughs> besides the parappa the rapper parappa the rapper one and two yeah there you go yeah. but you know just you know kids they get stuck on like certain things for a long time and then they go bored you know yeah. so all right, continuing with me raiding the European market, <laughs> I have, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Trepang 2. Uh, so this is a horror shooter, kind of like Fear, which uh, I like the Fear games a lot. So when I heard about this one, I think it was a huge hit on PC. Uh, thankfully, they had a physical on, um, trying to make sure I can get the spine here. Like the stack is growing, <laughs> but <laughs> at least it says Trepang 2. Uh, and then this particular copy, I could, I can only assume it's the same as the other ones, where just not many copies printed, mm -hmm. and uh, the the ones over here are just kind of hard to find and more expensive. So I got, I got a pretty good price on this, but it's definitely available much cheaper digitally. But um, yeah. I figured that would be one of those horror shooters that's going to be very, very hard to find. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wanted to pick it up as uh, as soon as I could, and um, yeah, I'm very excited to play that one. I think that sums up a lot of our online purchases here is that there are games that we just we know they will most likely go up in price eventually we know we want them in our collection so we're just trying to grab them while they're reasonable yeah looks like i rated the european market on this <laughs> one <So. laughs> uh, my next one is dredge uh the deluxe edition i love 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 this game this game totally surprised me um when i first played this one we bought it digitally on the xbox and and uh, then yeah i think you saw this one uh for a reasonable price and said you know let's get it at least even if it's for the european market i think we wanted to get it last christmas time uh, for the physical release uh but i thought uh oh, no it's okay but now that i've actually played it and i love it yeah then i was like we need to get it in our collection such a yep. fantastic game that one's another one i think that just ran out of copies over here and yeah it's, yeah you know which is which is not not a big deal obviously because you can still play this mm -hmm. on a series x and, and everything you know there's no region so yeah region, region specific free, so. stuff mm -hmm. and that's a horror fishing game we should mention <laughs> yeah so. horror so <laughs> i'll have to play that one at uh shocktober or spooktober oh my gosh it's so great yep yeah, so you've told me so I, i'm looking forward to that one all right again we're staying in uh, europe i guess nice. yeah. well, this one was a european uh, release though so I, I can i can justify this one if they <laughs> can't get this one over here so this is another horror game the chant limited edition i think this comes with just like an art book there's like the kind of spine oh, here cool. a little bit hard to see it's, it's red on gray uh so this is a survival horror game i think you're part of like either part of a cult or you're trying to escape a cult uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what I know about it. But it looks pretty decent though, and I think it's uh, 
one of the people from the quarry is the main voice actress in that one. So, uh, and I think you know who it is because yeah. you saw me play the quarry. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, looks like it could be a good game. So you're trying to get away from a cult, and earlier I'm starting cult and trying yeah, to... Yeah, cult of the lamb. This yeah. is escaping, not the cult of the lamb, but <laughs> some cult. Yeah, who would want to escape my cult? It's great. <laughs> my next game is Paleo Pine. This one, I thought, I think, oh, it, it was definitely under $14. And might have even been under 10 and so I was like, okay, this is probably one of the weirder farming games um that i've seen on the market in a while it's like farming with dinosaurs a cozy dino ranching game and if you know me i like weird games and this one definitely fit it it's a weird farming game so dino farming can't have enough farming games apparently so <laughs> But then you add dinosaurs and then you really can't pass it they up. They can do any kind of simulator or farming game. They can come up with anything these days, I swear. But I like dinosaurs, so I mean, this one seems cool. I gotta try that one. It sounds so weird. <laughs> Alright, my next one is a little bit of a weird one, but I've been wanting to add this to the collection. And that's Starfield Premium Upgrade. So this is essentially just a steelbook. Um and some digital extras you know it's a little bit disappointing that it has no game in here you know i remember buying a lot of the steelbook editions that had the actual game in there in season pass but it seems like this uh they keep stripping everything down it does look like it has a story expansion here so they might have like a season pass or something in here but otherwise yeah it's um it's just mostly a steelbook and you know a collectible item so to speak because i figure they'll probably do less and less of these in the future so wanted to add this one um to the collection my next one is um i think these are kind of special games and uh is tunic this is uh published by fan gamer and uh, i really love collecting fan gamer uh game and fan gamer was having a sale in july where it was like I think it was free shipping uh, for, you know, however big your purchase is. And I thought then this was a good opportunity to pick up some of the ones that we uh, don't already have in our collection. And so, yeah, Tunic's kind of a cool one. Um, it has a lot of really cool extras in here, I believe. I was hoping it was going to say on the back what it has, but I do think it has some, like a map and it looks kind of like a Legend of Zelda on the NES map and just has some, yeah, little extras in here and also on the Xbox, and so I appreciate that Fangamer is doing some publishing on the Xbox Series X, Xbox One. Yeah, great slipcover too. Yeah, really it's really cool. pretty. Okay, the last one in my stack over here, or as I called it, my Raid of Europe. This, uh, I think, was a release in Europe, same as the Chant. Uh, see if I can fit it in here. So this is Terminator Resistance Complete Edition uh, on Xbox Series X. So I have actually played this game, uh, the regular edition, so to speak. You know, it's a trip down memory lane, really, if you're very nostalgic about the 80s and those movies. I mean, the Terminator movies are are incredible, really, especially the first two. But uh, the game was was pretty good, though, I would say. So I wanted to add this one. It has a steel book and um, some other stuff in here. I'm not sure what they added because this is all in German. So I, I can read some German, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you have to translate for me here. <laughs> but uh, it's cool to have in the collection. And... I think the only one now I need to get is like the Robocop game. I don't have that one. Do they have that one on Xbox at least? Yes, they do. Cool. And my last one is a very special one. Uh, it was just recently released on the Xbox by Fangamer and it's a family favorite. It's Undertale. And this is a game that we all have played. We all love this game. Uh, we use the music uh, on most of our videos <laughs> and um, I was so excited to see I think we do own this on multiple consoles but when I saw that they were putting it onto the Xbox I was like well obviously we have to get that version too so there's obviously some extras in here this is uh, not just a slip cover but this is a box so uh, I'll be excited to open this see what's inside this version of it 
It's the friendly RPG. It That's is what it says. It's a family RPG. Yeah, and you're right about that. It is a family favorite. Even I've played this, and it's not really the type of game I would play, but like the music and the characters, the dialogue, it's it's amazing. It's yep. so memorable, and I just feel like if there was anybody who was like, I want to play an RPG, but I've never played one before, or I'm not really ready to jump in and make a big investment to an RPG, Undertale's the way to go. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great intro RPG for anyone. Yep. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.